Le Chatelier's work opened the door for us to analyze effects of manipulating equilibria. And we can do that in a variety of ways, and the first way we're going to look at is the effect of changing the concentration. So here we have the same equilibrium we discussed earlier, where we have nitrogen gas plus three hydrogen gas in equilibrium with two ammonia gas. The Kc expression is given, and it's 4.3 times 10 to the minus 3 at 300 degrees Celsius. So now let's look at what happens when we increase the concentration of N2. So by increasing this concentration, we're not at equilibrium anymore. So what we can initially do here is compare Q versus K. And what happens when we increase the concentration of N2? If we do that, then our Q, since nitrogen here is down in the denominator, and we're increasing that, our Q is going to be less than K. So if Q is less than K, remember that to reach equilibrium, a shift from reactants to products must occur. So we need to have this shift happening to alleviate the stress that's been imposed on this particular equilibrium expression. So if we increase the concentration of N2, the shift is going to happen from reactants to products, or our shift is going to be to the right. So in order to, for this shift to occur, when we shift to the right, the concentration of H2 is going to drop, and the concentration of our NH3 is going to increase until equilibrium is established. Okay. We can look at all these other effects as well. So if we increase the concentration of N2, our equilibrium is going to shift over to the right. Okay, So by increasing our nitrogen gas, the equilibrium shifts over to the right. We can also increase the concentration of NH3. If we increase the concentration of the NH3, our equilibrium is going to shift back over here to the other way or shift to the left. So if we increase the concentration of NH3, our equilibrium shifts left. Another thing that we can do is we can remove H2 or we would decrease the concentration of H2. So if we decrease the concentration here of H2, our equilibrium is going to shift over here to the left as well. So if we remove H2, our equilibrium will shift to the left until it's reestablished. Another thing that we could do is we could remove NH3 or decrease the concentration of NH3. And when we do that, if we drop this concentration right here, the equilibrium is going to shift over to the right. So if we remove some of our NH3, our equilibrium will shift over to the right. So this illustrates a variety of different ways of how we can manipulate the concentration and what then will happen to a particular equilibrium expression.